Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here at the local park to do some coin shooting and today I thought I'd try something a little bit different. I normally only show my better finds because I figure most people don't want to spend a half hour watching me dig pull tabs and other junk, but today I'm going to show it all and do a bunch of live digs to maybe give people who are new to the hobby a better understanding of what they can expect. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't dig silver coins every time I go out. Matter of fact, it's pretty rare. So that's the idea behind the video. Weapon of choice will be the CTX 3030. So stand by and we'll get started. 11.45 at four inches. It's going to be a clad dime. Yep. These old parts are slap full of surface trash and clad, so if you're not careful, you'll spend your whole day digging unwanted junk. So what I like to do is come out and sample targets for about a half hour just to get an idea of the depth and what's in the ground. And then uh, after I've done that, I'll set up a criteria for what the signals have to be before I'll dig them. For example, I may only dig tight signals that are at least five inches deep or deeper. Now that's not perfect, but it'll uh, it'll cut out a lot of the junk. It's a wheat penny. Eleven forty-six at three inches. I know that's just going to be a clad quarter at that depth, but I have a hard time passing over these. Eleven forty six, eleven forty seven. It's gonna be a clad quarter. Yep. That's a ten forty at six or seven inches. 1945 at 7 inches, 0841 at 6 inches. Ten forty four. That one's down there pretty good. And there it is. It's some kind of little ring. Not sure what that's off of. It's awful deep though, eight or nine inches. Here's one that's uh, not all that deep, but it's got a good sound to it. That's an 1146 at four inches. 1147, four inches, that's pretty good numbers.
out of the hole still sounding good. That could just be a clad quarter, but you got to dig those. Looks like it's, uh, I think that's going to be an aluminum token. Yeah, probably one of those good luck tokens. I think these would have had a, probably a wheat penny in the middle. And it says something around the outside there. I found I found several of these before. Anyway, uh, we'll get it cleaned up and get a better look at it. Fourteen forty at four inches. Fourteen forty nine four inches. That's probably another week cent. <coughs> Yep, nice green one there. It's deep, whatever it is. It's an old square nail. And something else down there. Could be just more iron, but whatever it is, it's deeper than the uh, pinpointer, so it's old. There it is. nice if that was a plate but I don't think so I don't know I'll get it cleaned up and we'll find out what it is it was down there though it was at the bottom of that hole I think this pinpointer is about nine inches and it was a good 
I don't know, three inches deeper than that, so 12 inches or so. Here's another deeper signal. O three forty one. Nineteen forty four at six inches. That's in the uh, that's in the wheat penny range. That one's down there at least seven inches or so, maybe a little more. Well, that's the length of the pinpointer there, so eight, eight and a half inches. there it is it's another one of those things I found one of these uh, about a week ago not sure what those are but uh, like I said that's the second one I've found it's a 0648 it's only two inches deep Maybe just a Coke can, but I'm gonna give this one a look. It does got a round sound to it, so who knows? But it's not a square, I can see it right there. That's gonna be. It's like some kind of, yeah, it's part of an old lock. That's what it is. That's the uh, front or back to an old padlock. The other part's not in there. Seven forty-six at three inches. I suspect this will be a clad quarter. Yep. Thirteen thirty four, six inches. That's a good, uh, that's a good Indian head signal. Still in the hole, that's a good sign. And there we go. Got the color to be an Indian head. Yeah, I think I can see part of the uh, part of the headdress there. Give it a little spit shine. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's definitely an Indian head. Tell you what, I'll get it cleaned up and uh, give you a better look at it. Uh, 1642 at six inches. That's probably a wheat penny. Where'd you go? I think it was stuck to the end of my shovel. Oh, what is that? It's like aluminum. Oops. That's probably going to be a token. Yeah, I can see some writing on it. We get it cleaned up, and I'll show you show you a picture of it. There's an eleven forty three. Oh, three forty four. That's probably just a wheat penny. There it is. Yeah, it's just a wheat penny. A little uh, little bottle dump here. This is some of the stuff I pulled out so far. That's a that's actually a bottle top there, and um, a piece of an old spoon or fork. Did find one Coke bottle that dated 1923 from Cedartown, Georgia. So I'll just leave the camera running for a minute and let you see, let you see what we're digging out of here. Really need a whole uh, pick or a rake. This old paintbrush. There's an old one, cork top. I don't know much about bottles, but I think I'll hang on to that one just to see, just to see what it is. Here's what's left of an old pocket knife. There's some of the other stuff I've pulled out in the last few minutes. Parts to shoes, a piece of a belt, all kind of stuff in here. Just got that on a 1244 signal at about four inches down. It's a little uh, makeup compact, I believe. Get it cleaned up. Looks like it's gonna have some design on it. Maybe it's full of coins. I forgot to record it, but just like another makeup compact. That one was down probably about uh, six inches or so. So there you go. That's a typical park hunt for me. 
you know sometimes you get lucky and find some silver and other times you don't that's just the way it goes but uh the last few clips of that video was at another location i was doing some hunting with a friend of mine who i met at the park a few weeks ago he actually has a youtube channel too which i'll put a link to down below and he finds some really good stuff so go check him out and tell him i sent you over uh, his channel's in spanish but you don't have to understand the language to enjoy the finds anyway well i've got you here i thought we'd open these makeup compacts on camera just to see if we can get lucky and find one with some coins in it i know it's highly unlikely but i actually did find one several years ago that had wheat pennies in it so you never know all right let's see what we got here looks like that one's just gonna have some dried up makeup This other one looks like it might need some persuasion, so I brought out the brought out the letterman. I don't know if we'll get that one open or not. about damaging it it's in pretty bad condition anyway nope I'm not sure what that is but it's not coin so oh well anyway thanks for watching guys happy hunting and I'll see you next time